Thanks for staying with headlines today. We have with us live now and privileged to have with us Kailash Satyarthi, who heads a non governmental organization, the Bachpan Bachao Andolan. He is a joint winner, along with Malala Yousafzai of Pakistan, of the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize. Mr. Satyarthi, thank you for speaking to headlines today. Many congratulations on a well deserved award. What was your first reaction, Mr. Satyarthi, when you? found out that you'd won this year's Nobel. It's my pleasure and thank you very much. Um, this is definitely a great recognition and honor for hundreds of millions of children who are still languishing in modern day slavery. They are being acknowledged, their, their, their plight and voices are being heard at the top level. So it's very important for the cause. Um, it's also um, an honor and uh, acknowledgement for my great country, India, and uh, its citizens. Mr. Satyarthi, would you acknowledge that the Nobel Prize comes at a crucial time because the war for rights of children and for slavery, against slavery of children, is a battle that is going to be a very long one. There are still thousands, if not millions of children who still are enslaved even as we speak? Definitely. This is, that's why when um, uh, many of my fellow uh, countrymen and uh, my fellow activists globally are celebrating, and they are very enthusiastic and excited about it, I do not forget even for one single moment that millions of children are trapped into slavery. Right now, they must be working somewhere in the mines and factories. They must be enslaved somewhere inside the homes and working in street restaurants and serving the people. Uh, there are many girls are entrapped into uh, uh, brothels and prostitute houses. So I remember them uh, very passionately. And uh, this is a bigger challenge, which has always been there and which will remain there until and unless every single child is freed from slavery and child labor. And Mr. Satyarthi, you know, Diwali is around the corner. And that's, you know, another, another story that everyone is reminded of just once a year. The firecracker factories in South India that employ almost only children. Yeah, well, we have been... Um, uh, spearheading a campaign in India, especially in Indian schools for quite some time and which has been quite uh, impactful in the past and even now. Uh, hundreds of thousands of children joined hands, joined hands uh, with us. Uh, we have been calling uh, the people that uh, celebrate Diwali by lighting the lamps and not by blasting the children. Because the children who are working in making these firecrackers, they lose their uh, lives uh, without unnoticed. Mrs. Satyarthi, uh, you know, your, your prize is shared with Malala Yousafzai, another icon well known around the world. Uh, you know, she's from across the border in Pakistan. It's ironic. It comes at a time when shells and fire is being exchanged between both countries. Do you have a plan on what you'd like to do along with Malala for Indo Pak peace? Uh, well, I, I, I know her person personally for quite some time and we have shared uh, some occasions together uh, in the international fora. Um, I'm, so I am going to speak to her that this, apart from our work uh, on uh, child slavery in my country and uh, the education for girls, which she does, uh, though she could not come back to her own country, so she has to sit in uh, uh, London or travel across, but she has been raising the voice for girls who are deprived of education. We, um, we have to share another responsibility together and I am going to invite her to join hands for peace because we have to see uh, that no child in India, Pakistan or anywhere in the world is born in the situation of conflict and violence. Every child is born and grow in peace so that uh, every child can enjoy fullest of the childhood in freedom. Uh, Mrs. Satyarthi, what a, what, what, you know, you have been a, uh, you know, led a non-governmental organization for many years. You've done stellar work with this Nobel Prize now. You know, now that you are on the quote-unquote international map, 
everybody knows you, you will be recognized, you will be felicitated. You know, with access, with that kind of recognition comes a certain amount of power as well to do the good work and make it even larger than it already is. How do you hope to do that with this new recognition? And especially, what are your expectations from the government going forward, sir? Well, um, uh, let me tell you that I have been working in 144 countries for last 15 years. And I have been uh, the founder and uh, uh, the, uh, the worker in uh, the global march against child labor uh, since 1997-98. So we already work in so many countries. So this uh, is also a great honor for all those activists, my fellow activists who work in all those uh, countries. Uh, in the fight against child labor. So definitely um, uh, this honor will uh, give them more impetus, more... All right, we've uh, just lost that uh, video link uh, with uh, Kailash Satyati. He was just telling us uh, about what his expectations really are from the current government with that recognition, with him now becoming a known face across the world, his own mission against child slavery is emboldened and empowered and it he will have access to more resources he will be felicitated by the government he will be felicitated by other governments and armed with a nobel peace prize the noble mission against child slavery in india and across the world like elash satyarthi just said he's worked in 144 countries okay we have mr satyarthi back with us sorry we just got disconnected for a moment uh, sir uh, you were telling us about what your expectations are from from this government uh, you know what are the challenges that you faced what are the biggest challenges that keep child slavery still active in such a big way sir well it's uh, uh, we cannot uh, just um, talk of one or another government yes as i said that i'm i'm working in so many countries and my responsibility is to carry on and strengthen the work in all those countries for all those children so um, uh, it is definitely the lack of global political will uh, and we have to fight it out and we have to ensure that we have to generate more political will to uh, change the situation. Uh, we talk and we work for globalization of market and economies, we work for the globalization of information and technology and so on. But this is the time and I will call upon the people to work for the globalization of human compassion, globalization of compassion for children and that is the need of the hour. If, if the government Thank was you listening... So much. Thank you so much. Mrs. Satyarthi, one last question. Thank you one so last much. question. Okay, we've, uh, th th we've run out of time with uh, Kailash Satyarthi. He says that he will continue to work very closely, both with government and with the agencies that he uh, has a relationship with in 144 countries, where the mission against child slavery will be taken forward. This is a joint Nobel Peace Prize. How ironic it comes at a time like this. Malala Yousafzai of Pakistan and Kailash Satyarthi of India share the 2014 Peace Prize. Kailash Satyarthi, many people won't admit it, but he was an unknown face. He was an obscure face. Very few had actually even heard of the man. But today, Kailash Satyarthi is a man who all agencies, departments of government are scrambling to recognize and perhaps to felicitate in India as well. Taking a quick break here, Up South with T.S. Adhiri's next.